Today we're gonna to go over or start the Bulletproof Shoulder Series and we're gonna start those with some scapular stabilizers. With the scapular stabilizers, we can start with body weight or light weight. I would suggest doing half pound to a pound at most if we're starting. Um, we're going to do YTWs. YTWs, you are bent over a posty wall or flat on the ground and raising in a Y fashion with your thumbs pointing up, squeezing your shoulder blades down and back, the T straight together, arms straight out to the side, almost like a little airplane. And then the W is arms bent, shoulder blades squeezing down together. You're trying to squeeze your shoulder blade into like the opposite pocket. So your right shoulder blade goes into your left back pocket when I squeeze them down together for any of the races. A way to progress to YTWs is using a TRX band or something similar to it. It's the same idea. So the Y is still that Y position, squeezing your shoulder blades together and down. The T is straight out, but with the W, you're gonna keep your arms straight instead of bent. So I'll go through this one more time. Point up, out, down, and keep my upper trap nice and relaxed. And I try to keep my palms facing forward for every progression on the YTW using the TRX band. Once we master the YTWs individually, we're gonna put them all together to work on some scapular coordination. And that's gonna look like this. We're gonna start at the W, pitching our shoulder blades down and together, and progress out in front of us, coming back, so we can reset after each one, or if you wanna work on some endurance, we can just stay up in that elevated position. These ones are harder than they look, so if you feel like you're compensating, give yourself a break. It's more important to do them correctly than to do a lot of them.